So, the whole Danny Duncan situation. Um, from him and Sun Hacklet, um, Sun Hackhead, to him and the now fourth alleged victims. The thing with Sun Hackhead is that he seems very unreliable. When Danny Duncan played his response video, you know, during the audio club, there's a conversation between him and Danny Duncan. And he's pretty much talking about he'll do whatever it takes to make it in LA, to make it, um, to become a big YouTuber. And he doesn't really care what he has to do to get there. He talks about how he'll make up drama, he'll do whatever. You know, he'll throw anyone under the bus, he'll say whatever he wants, you know, he'll say whatever will grab him the most attention. And that comes across as desperate. And when somebody's desperate, is is really hard to believe what, what this person is saying. And don't get me wrong, I've seen a couple of Danny Duncan's videos, and yeah, they, they do joke around with each other, and they do sit there and, you know, rough house or whatever, but I don't think it's to a point where Danny is taking a knife to his throat and just randomly putting him down and saying these terrible comments to him you know, just for funsies. Again, I wasn't there, so I can't sit there and say that some hat kid is lying, but he does come across as desperate, and with that being said, he it's just kind of unreliable to me. Now, as far as these, you know, four, you know, these four um, alleged victims, when it comes to something like that, he says, she says. Now, granted, three of them did file a police report, so, you know, a lot of people are there looking at that like, oh, well, that must be legit because they filed a police report. Let's talk about somebody else who filed a, repli that, uh, filed a police report um, recently and see how that's going for that guy. Now, don't get me wrong, again, I'm not sitting there saying that these women are lying, but, you know, it doesn't mean that he's guilty just because they're filing a police report. The thing is, the way that Keemstar is covering this story is really terrible because he's pushing his narrative as though, you know, Danny did it already. I mean, he didn't interview him yet. Yeah, he said he tried to get, you know, he tried to get into contact with his team, but did he try to get into contact with him directly? You know, so with that being said, it's very one-sided. And it's, it's unfortunate because Danny isn't doing himself any... In some ways, Danny isn't doing himself any favors. Because he hasn't said anything yet, and everyone is already... You know, a, a lot of people are already assuming that Danny Duncan did it. Or that, you know, they're being cloud chasers. But at the same time... You know, we've seen a lot of times in these, in these cases or whatever, when somebody does an apology video, when somebody does a response video, you get one chance, okay? And if it comes slightly off, slightly disingenuous, slightly fake, it's a wrap. Um, so I do sit there and feel that he should take his time with whatever he's going to say. I do also think that he should do it a little bit rather sooner than later. But with that being said, I'm going to go. Um, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Be safe. And I will see you in the next video.